Happening this weekend, Edgar Allan Poe's mysterious and spooky tales are coming to the stage just in time for Halloween. Today we welcome to the show Laura Hurst and Riley Crewer from the Lapeer Community Theater to talk about The Poe Show. It has a ring to it. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, thanks for coming on. Thank and, you. Uh, you know, tell us a little bit about the theater first off. Yeah, um, so Lapeer Community Theater is a small organization based in Lapeer County. Um, we're really focused on enriching the community through the arts and really bringing quality productions to the community. Yes, and why are you so passionate about that? Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, yeah I like that fun. answer. <laughs> we, we, we like fun. Well, tell our viewers, uh, give us a little synopsis of the Poe Show. Yeah, so the Poe Show is essentially a group of patients at an insane asylum and they are working together to perform the works of Edgar Allan Poe. Um, okay. So it's, it's very quirky, very zany, a little bit dark and macabre, so definitely the perfect way to celebrate the Halloween season. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't expecting that, honestly, but <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, how long has this production been around and what made you decide to try to tackle it? Well, it was basically our director, Bethany Gallagher, that decided to do it. Um, it's been something for her that she's trying to put in place for two years. Okay. And um, it's really come together. It's, it's, I'm, I've been there since the beginning, and I still am laughing every time I see it. That's so, wonderful. Well, tell, yes. give us, here's some pictures of you working hard on uh, things, but tell us about who you each play in this production. Yeah, so um, I play Conrad. Uh, he is a certified stalker, celebrity. Certified? Mostly, <laughs> yes. Yes, so he's definitely a little bit of that Norman Bates uh, type, so okay. watch your back. Okay, <laughs> yikes, okay. Uh, what about you? I'm actually the assistant director and I play Nurse Smiles. Nurse Just Smiles. Kind of like a Nurse Ratchet. Oh, if you know what I mean. Yes, so you have a couple sides to you as yes. well. Well, you know, what is the most fun about tapping into some of these uh, zany personalities? I think just like the vibe of the entire show, because it's very, it's like that dark comedy, so you're, yes. you can be a little bit dramatic, but also like kind of lean into like the campiness of it. Okay. Um, I think that's what I like the most about the show. Yeah, so you're promising plenty of laughs for the oh, audience? Oh, yes, yes. A yeah. lot of laughs. It's a lot. Of, like I said, I've been watching it now for two months, and I'm still laughing. So yeah, that's quite the marriage, though the Edgar Allan Poe to the scenario that you described. <laughs> so you know, bottom line, why should folks come out and check it out? It's fun. You'll laugh and have a good time. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, that's, yeah. that's good. I'm sold. And then uh, finally, quickly too, you know, how much work have you put into this, and why are you so excited to debut it? Oh. It's been like three or four months at this point. Okay. Yes. Um, so it's definitely been a process, but we're very excited. Um, we've been hopping around, trying to make sure everything's pulled together. Um, so we're definitely sounds excited. Sounds quirky and uh, yeah. as fun as they said, you can catch those performances of the Post Show at the Lapeer Pix Theater October 25th and 26th. Uh, tickets can be purchased at lapeercommunitytheater.com.